Is this you? You walk out of English class with your head held high. You have understood everything your teacher has said. You understood everything the other students said too. And then you get home, turn on your TV and see this. The thing is, I was in her dressing room and I was like, she said, there was only a little curtain separating us while she's having her makeup done. And I started like, going, I think I can do this. I don't think I can do this. And she would have heard it all. And then she popped out. So I put on a brave face. But the second time I went out on a balcony and got on my hands and knees and cried. Why is it that we can understand some native speakers really easily, but not others? The answer is weak forms. If you want to understand native speakers better, this is one of the most important concepts to understand. And today we're going to learn how to use them. So let's get into it. Grab a pen, write down what you hear in this sentence. Ready? Here we go. I'll go to the shop for you if you need some eggs. Listen to this sentence again. How are these words pronounced? I'll go to the shop for you if you need some eggs. These words are usually pronounced using weak forms. Weak forms are a huge reason you find listening to native speakers difficult. Stick around until the end of the video because I'm going to show you how to use weak forms in your speaking and identify them more easily when you're listening. Let's start by trying to identify some words spoken in their weak forms. How many can you get right? Listen to me say each weak form and guess which word it is. Let's do one together. Some. Which word is it? That's right. Some. Let's begin. Z. F. K. N. Y. D. V. Uh. Was. Would. In. Okay, let's check the answers. See how many you got correct out of 12. Z. Is. F. For. Can. Can. Y. You. D. Do. T. Two. The, of, or have, a, at, was, was, would, would, m, an, or and. Let's listen to some example sentences. I can sing a little bit, not very well. I can, I can, I can sing a little bit, not very well. He should have gone to work yesterday. He should have. He should have gone to work yesterday. John has a cat and a dog. Has a cat and a. John has a cat and a dog. Right. Let's go over a few rules. Negative words such as wasn't or doesn't are not pronounced using weak forms. Pronounce these words as you usually would. Listen to this question. So what do you do now? Why is the first do pronounced with the weak form d, but the second one isn't? Because the first do is an auxiliary verb. We pronounce auxiliary verbs with the weak form. The second do is the main verb, and the main verbs are always pronounced using their strong form. What do you do? This rule also applies to words like have, which could be an auxiliary verb or a main verb. What have you had to eat? When words usually pronounced with the weak form appear at the end of a clause, pronounce them using their strong form. I'll go to the shop for you if you need some eggs. There's a little bit more to it than that, but we'll save that for another video. So, now you probably want to know which words are pronounced using weak forms. How can you know? Try this simple trick. Can you think of a picture when I say these words? Guitar. Dance. Happy. Dangerously. Okay, how about these words? Can you think of a picture when I say these words? Two. Of. An. And. The words in the first list are all content words. These are nouns, verbs, adjectives, and adverbs. You can easily think of a picture when you hear these words. These words are not pronounced using weak forms. However, the words in the second list do not bring a picture to mind. These are words like articles, prepositions, and conjunctions. These words are grammar words and are often pronounced using weak forms. So if you can think of a picture, say the word clearly. And if you can't think of a picture, you should try to use the weak form. So which words can you picture in this idiom? 
You can probably picture eyes bigger and belly. Your eyes are bigger than your belly. Your eyes are bigger than your belly means that you think you can eat way more than you can, so you order way too much food. So both eyes and belly are nouns, and bigger is a comparative adjective. That's why these words are pronounced in their normal way. The other words are not nouns, verbs, adjectives, or adverbs, and you can pronounce them using their weak forms. Want to learn some more idioms? Watch this idioms quiz next.